Hello and welcome to another ASC Tech Tips podcast. Today's podcast is going to talk about the Google extension called Save to Google Drive. Um, again, Google extensions are tools that you would add to your Chrome web browser. They're up here and they're there to enhance your web experience. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm in Chrome. I'm going to go to my apps launcher over here on the left and I'm going to select the Google Web Store and it's going to load up here. And there's two ways you can get to it. You can go down here to extensions and find it or you can just search it. I know this is called Save to Google Drive, so I'm just going to click on it. And underneath extensions, it's right here, I'm going to hit the free icon over here. And I'm going to hit add. And it's going to quickly download it down here. And there it is. So now on the upper right, I have this little icon that looks like my Google Drive. So what this tool does is it takes a web shot, a web screenshot of your web page. Um, I think this has a lot of application for social studies. Um, an example, CNN's website changes this look on the minute depending on what's going on in the world. So if I would go ahead and click this, the first time I do it, I'm going to have to allow it. But it's kind of scanning all the way through here, right? You see how it kind of scanned through? And now you'll see this has popped up and it said it's uploading it to my Google Drive. Okay? And I can name it if I want to. I'm going to say close here and now I'm going to go back to my apps launcher and go to my Google Drive. And now in my drive, I have an image that's called CNN.com breaking news. If I click on it, this is going to be a screenshot of an entire web page for that day or for that time of the, of the capture. So again, um, it's an image so I can't copy and paste anything. If I do open it, it loads it as it's like kind of like a PDF, right? And because it's a long page, it's there. I, I can go over here and I can zoom in and I can scroll to see what I want here. Um, again, nothing is clickable, nothing is, I can't um, highlight. But what it does do is it gives you a shot of what was happening on that web page at, the, at that time. So for current events, um, if you ever have uh, maybe something that's curricular, it's on a website that you know is going to change, um, you could take a screenshot or using the Save to Google Drive and then you always have it in your drive. Um, you also could link to the article, but again, sometimes those links change, sometimes they go away. If you got to an article that you know that you want, you could do Save to Google Drive and you'll always have a, a photocopy of that page. So um, again, I think it has a lot of application in social studies. Beyond that, not sure. This is how you could use Save to Google Drive as a Google extension. Thanks and have a great day.